Okay, we're live here, kicking off day two of theCUBE at siliconangle.tv. I'm John Furrier, the founder of siliconangle.com, and, and uh, just Monday and Tuesday we were kicking off also IBM Edge 2012 in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Dave Vellante, my co-host. Dave, uh, we got separated a little bit. I was doing a day down in Orlando, you were doing a day here I had at Furrier HP. With you all. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so thanks for uh, you know, making it out here, right? Uh, good, good event down at IBM, small, much smaller than this, but but focused all on storage. But yeah. I thought IBM did a good job of bringing together the different sectors of the, uh, the organization. But uh, we're here at HP Discover. Uh, Meg Whitman, John, gave a, a talk yesterday. I thought she was very good. You know, compared to, comparing it to Leo Apoteca last year, as you recall, Leo was very pie in the sky, connected devices, and you know, really. I and, don't he, and he didn't come on theCUBE. Uh, he didn't, well. That was his, that's why he Meg's got, got fired. Meg's got an open invite too, Meg, so if you're around, please stop by. But no one got fired by being on theCUBE. I, <laughs> I thought she, um, I thought she did a good job connecting with the enterprise audience. I, we, I talked to Dave Donatelli about this yesterday, where I think she just, you know, it was, it was really practical, tr you know, truly really tried and true. Talked about HP's differentiation, one of the things being its people. And, uh, and I, you know, used to work at HP and, and, you know, their culture. You know, my question still is, can HP get back to its roots of invent? Yeah. I mean, Dave, I was uh, watching it online a little bit, but also was scouring the news, looking at how the, the press reacted to it. Uh, Meg is very scripted, and as you know, we, we've been very opinionated on what H HP should be doing. Uh, even prior to Meg coming on board, I've written many blog posts. Uh, I said that you know, they should not spin out the PC division, which that was a good call, they didn't do that. I also said that they should not um, do the autonomy deal, take the breakup fee, and get rid of them. I personally think that was a bad move because if you think about what HP could have done with the $10 billion they paid for autonomy, I'm not sure they would go on, they can get a mulligan on that. I think they might do something differently on that, especially with all the, all the companies out there like Cloud Air, for example. If they spent a billion dollars on Cloud Air, they'd be number one in big data, literally overnight. So, so you can see kind of you know, them, them putting this together. Again, Leo, again, was, the, was on the hamstrung Meg, so I'm really not looking at Meg as a, as a problem here at all. In fact, I like her. In fact, you know, when we talked at EMC World, uh, uh, Scott McNeely uh, and, and us, we talked about Meg being a really good leader for HP because she's got that governor, uh, uh, the political uh, governor run that gives her experience dealing with the press and, and people, so I think that's been positive. But what happened in the press is interesting yesterday. Pretty much everybody, New York Times, all the, all the top line mainstream media, get, is giving her a, a serious pass here because they want to see what she can do. And I, and I think that's really fair, Dave, because um, it's going to take her at least six months to a year just to kind of figure out what to do. And so, given that, I think she's done a good job already making really tough decisions. One, I think that was a great decision about the spin out and also the layoff. Yeah, they got to cut, they got to cut the, the, uh, the fat a little bit. But I think HP's poised. And again, I think really where they need to do a lot of more work, Dave, is on the marketing. Well, she talked about, again, the differentiation, she talked about people, she talked about engineering. And so that's, again, one of the questions that I've asked a number of the guests at HP is, you know, can you, gear up engineering and R&D fast enough to compete or do you have to make acquisitions? Of course, nobody's going to answer that question. Uh, but I, I personally think they have to do you know, a combination of both. Uh, they, but, but at the same time, they've got to rebuild their balance sheet because you pointed out they spent $11 billion on autonomy. And that's really you know, hampered, I think, their ability to make some of these strategic acquisitions. But you know, we're here, yeah. we're going to talk about all this stuff uh, today and tomorrow. Yeah, and I think, I think just you know, for the folks out there, I'm long on HP. I think that, uh, although I don't have any stock on HP, um, I would buy stock on them. I think it's a good long-term bet. I think in the short term, it's obvious they've struggled, and I think everyone's been piling on HP um, in, in, in a negative way, mainly because they are having some, some struggles. But they have so many assets here, and you know, if they want to be number one in cloud, HP can be number one in cloud. They, they're actually doing really great on the converged right. infrastructure side. Well, so they have all the pieces of the puzzle. They, they just got to kind of clarify. Look, it. they say they say you know buy low, <laughs> sell high. HP right now is a 120 billion dollar company, trading at, you know with valuation is 44 billion. So they're basically you know trading at 30 cents on the revenue dollar. IBM in turn is a 100 plus billion dollar company. You know its 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 valuation is. 200 billion, yeah. and it's much more services oriented. So to me, HP's got a lot of upside, you know, and so. Um, now, rem now remember, just to put it in perspective, Facebook's valuation is higher than HP. So it just kind of boggles your mind that a company of this size is just so undervalued. And we're going to talk about Facebook for sure, but uh, <laughs> so we got we to take a break right here. We got our first guest coming up, Henry Faster, who's the chief technologist at SHI, big reseller organization, uh, one of the largest in the world, five plus billion, so keep it right there. We'll be right back. This is siliconangle.tv's The Cube, live from HP Discover. We'll be right back. <laughs> 